time in the United States Senate and long before. Senate down in front, has been a true down in front. For America's middle class families. From working to allow students to refinance their loans and make college more affordable, to protecting retirement security and strengthening consumer protections, Senator Warren is fighting to ensure that all Americans who work hard have the opportunity to get ahead and stay ahead. Senator Warren is a tireless advocate for working families yeah, yeah, across yeah. our nation, and we are very grateful that she is here with us today. So now, please join me in welcoming to the Granite State, Senator Elizabeth Warren. strong partners in yeah. getting this money. So, thank you. I want to start by thanking your terrific United States Senator, Jean Shaheen. Yeah. She is From the very beginning and every step along the way, Jeannie has been there with encouragement, with good advice, and with friendship. So thank you, Jeannie. Yeah. I also want to say a very special thank you to someone who is tough, who is smart, who is independent, your terrific governor, and the next United States Senator yeah. from New Hampshire, Lady Are you going to be part of that fight? Yeah. Now, a lot of people ask me uh, why I decided to come speak in New Hampshire today. And I just want to explain. I'm here to apologize. <laughs> See, back when I beat Scott Brown in 2012, <laughs> I know we're 
comes to elections this November. For a long time, we have talked about important elections. When John Kerry took on Debbie, when Obama fought McCain, very important races. But today, we have something new. We are at a crossroads in the election season, shifting from a strong, hard-fought presidential primary to a general election. And we are at a crossroads in this country. On one side, we have the winner of our Democratic primary, Hillary Clinton. is a fighter. She has been on the receiving end of right-wing attacks one after another for 25 years, but she doesn't give up and go home. She keeps at it, she keeps fighting for democratic values and fighting to take down an army of right-wing lunatics who will say and do anything to undermine reform in this country. We need makes a profit off the student loan program. And it is big. The program is on target to produce tens of billions of dollars in profits. Now, Chi Chaheen and I believe that is wrong. Yeah. That is wrong. So, Chi and I have fought side by side to cut the interest rate on student loans and to reduce the cost of college overall. Your other senator, Kelly Ayotte, voted against cutting student loan interest rates. She thinks it's just fine for the government to make a profit off the backs of students who have to borrow money to go to school. So whatever else happens, I guarantee, Maggie Hassan will be fighting side by side with Jean Shaheen and me to cut the cost of principle at stake here. Higher education should be about investing in students, not about making a profit for the government or boosting revenues for rich guys. And that brings us back to Donald Trump. <laughs> ah, Trump University, which his own employees explained was just a big lie and a fraudulent scheme. 
Now, rather than investing in high-quality instructors and counselors to teach classes, Donald Trump put together an army of salespeople to sell, sell, sell those classes. It was like a used car dealership, except that's not fair to used car dealerships. <laughs> Trump salespeople, listen to what he did. Trump salespeople would focus on how much money someone could come up with, then push these prospective students to max out all their credit cards to fork over thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars to Donald. His playbook said, look for people with problems because they make good targets. Trump even encouraged his sales force to go after elderly people who are just trying to create a little financial security. Now, Trump University failed, and that's no surprise. Think about all the other Trump failures. Trump casinos, Trump airlines, Trump steaks, Trump magazines, Trump vodka, Trump mortgage, Trump games, Trump travel, Trump lives, Trump network. Donald Trump is a proven businessman, a proven failure. Stuck with an overpriced bottle of water or a fatty steak. Many of the Trump <laughs> victims ended up deep in debt, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of debt that they had no way to pay off. These were ordinary folks who were targeted because they had problems and Donald Trump saw that he could make a buck off them. Here is a man who builds a business to profit off other people's pain. Donald Trump wants to be commander-in-chief, but he's only qualified to be fraudster-in-chief. Yeah. So at Trump knew that he had picked on people who were weak and defenseless, but now they are striking back and they have sued the thin-skinned racist bully. Yeah. When he's been called out by his former students and his own employees, what does Trump do? Does he just man up and take his licks? No. D no. Does he offer people his mo their money back? No. He whines about the press, he whimpers about the students, and he complains that the judge can't treat him fairly because long ago his family came from Mexico. So when you heard the latest, just this week, Trump sent his lawyers back to court to beg and plead that the videos of what he said under oath are kept secret from the American people. Now think about that. His own lawyers admitted those tapes will hurt his campaign. Oh, poor little Donald is shaking on his white rice to Italian loafers, begging the court to protect him about what happens if those videos go public and he's held accountable. Are you scared, Donald? Well, it should be. With the judge. This is how it works. While Donald Trump works to tear people down, Hillary Clinton and Democrats work to build them up. That's have a chance to get ahead, but all of our kids have a chance to get ahead. We can whine about Donald Trump, we can whimper about Donald Trump, and we can fight back. Me, I'm fighting back. Thank you.
what we believe in, America is ready to stand with us. And why? Because this isn't just about politics. This is about our values. This is about what kind of country we are and what kind of people we are. So let's remind ourselves of what we get up for every day, what we believe in all the way down to our toes, and let's draw some very clear lines. Donald Trump wants to repeal Wall Street reform, but Democrats believe we need accountability on Wall Street. Yeah. And should work full time and still live in poverty. That yeah. is a climate change denier. But Democrats believe in science, that climate change is real and it's our moral duty to protect this whose main job seems to be scamming people, but Democrats believe that every kid should have a good education without getting crushed by student loan debt. Donald Trump says he supports cutting Social Security, and I'm quoting here, from a moral standpoint. But Democrats believe that after a lifetime of hard work, people are entitled to retire with dignity, and that means protecting Social Security and Medicare. <laughs> Donald Trump says he likes to see women on their knees. Strong. That means comprehensive immigration reform now. And calls African Americans thugs and Muslims terrorists and Latinos rapists and criminals. But Democrats believe that racism, hatred, injustice, and bigotry has no place in our country. We believe that is all about money. 
that Democrats believe that we need to overturn Citizens United and we have just made my choice. And so that's why I'm here with you. The future of our country is up to you. It's up to the people in this room. Because you are the heart and the soul and the living spark of the Democratic Party. You are the ones who will make it happen. We need Democrats. We need them right here in New Hampshire. We need to elect Madison.